What's up gang? In this video we're going to take a look at my uh, Coleco Pac-Man. This is mine from when I was a kid. Um, it did work the last time I tried it. It was about probably 15 years ago. And it never had any batteries leak in it, so I'm hoping that it'll still work. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's in pretty good shape. Um, so we're going to clean it up, put some batteries in it, see if it works. If not, then we're going to bust it open and repair it. Either way, we're going to open it up anyway and just make sure everything looks okay. Uh, make sure all the wires are in there good. So let's check it out. Hopefully there's something wrong so we can fix it. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha! Hiding in their holes. Score we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record set or my Alright, so first I just want to kind of wipe it down a little bit. A lot of dust on here. And probably should do this semi wet, keep from scratching everything. It's been through hell till now, so I can probably deal with it. But it looks pretty good for its age. Uh, I definitely played it as a kid, but I don't think I overplayed it. And it, the size of it really didn't help as far as like going on road trips and stuff like that. I mean, I, I guess everything was kind of big back then, so we really weren't worried about it as a kid. Until our Game Boys came out and they were a little smaller. But uh just want to dust this off real quick, and then we'll throw these batteries in it just to see what happens. And we'll open her up. See if we need to uh, maybe reapply some solder on some of the wires on the inside. I imagine it needs something. Okay. So this is really the only problem with it. Let me get it where the flash isn't on it. So the sticker's kind of little stained on the bottom. I'm not even going to try to clean this. Um, I'm just going to leave that. It's probably my stain from something anyway. But what we do here is just pop the back off. And I don't recommend using these batteries for a long period of time. These are just the dollar store ones. But I just got it just to test it. I didn't want to spend $10 on batteries. So I'm not going to play this all the time. I just want to see that it works. Well, actually, I just want to fix it because I was hoping there would be something wrong. Oh, oh, I hear sounds. So it looks like we do have some action. Yeah. Actually, it looks pretty good. Are we actually playing here? Okay, there I am. We are playing. Yeah, we are. Oh, I died. Oh, is it two player? Oh, it is on two player. The joysticks aren't completely responsive. So I want to look at that, that's for sure. Especially this one over here, it doesn't want to do anything really. And it doesn't want to go left and right. So we'll have to look at that. I have to remember not to talk to myself so much. Okay, well let's open it up and take a look at it here. Skill one, skill two, off is in the middle. Okay, uh, let me get a screwdriver and we'll open this up and take a look at the controls, see what's going on with it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of start this over. Um, I started the game and it worked just fine. I opened it up and just kind of brushed everything off and now it's not working. <clears throat> I do wanna go over what I said in the last one. 
The screws that are on the bottom, you take those out. Then there's two here that are hidden underneath the control panel overlay, so to speak. And then this will come right off. Um, I put the batteries back in it to no avail. And now we should just come free here. So let me pause this and I'm going to take the screws out of this. I don't want to waste any more time. Okay, so basically I, I've already done this, but I just want to go over it with you on camera. I'm going to test continuity between the wires from the battery to the power switch, which the power switch is right here on the other side of the board. Um, I was getting continuity from the wire and from the solder. I'll go ahead and go from the solder this time. And this is the red, and this is the black. So we're good there. Let me make sure. Come on. Okay. We're good there. I did double check the batteries, even though they were brand new. Those are good. So where that brings us to next is the switch, which is here. Um, I did not see any problems with it. And like I said, it was working for me just fine a minute ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run and grab some compressed air, blow this out. We also had problems with the player two control. I could get it to go up, but it would not go left and right. It may have went down. Um, these are just kind of contact points underneath here. So if compressed air doesn't work on those, um, contact cleaner probably will but I want to try compressed air on this even though the switch feels fine maybe I bent something on the inside from lack of use and then all of a sudden I'm using it so much so let's go ahead and do that I'll be right back and we'll move on from there okay I got the canned air now let's see if it's this helps and face the camera a little bit so uh, we'll dust off is what I what we have here I'm just want to spray it down in here kind of underneath I don't know if this will help but it can't hurt It's the second time I've done it, so now we're going to go ahead and throw the batteries back in and hope that makes a difference. Actually, I'm going to let that warm up, cool down, whatever you want to say. It's making all kinds of noises, a little, a little creepy. I want that thing to explode on me. those in. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll play or two. Uh, we do have a little action on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. It's just barely lit up. Okay, you can see it a little bit. Um, oh. No, I don't have a joystick. Okay, so we got something going on here at least. We got right. We got left. We got up. Oh. Let's see if we got down. Okay, we got all four controls this way. Well, well, maybe we are down all the way we could go right there. Best, 110. So I thought we were on... How do we select two-player? I wonder. Just tell us on this thing. It's been too long since I played this guy. But we need to check player two controls. Demo... Head to head Pac Man. Right. Okay, so what we need to do is hit the left button on the joystick here. Nope. I need to screw this down. Okay. 
I think that was player one. Oh no, it's going so fast I can't tell. Okay, there's up, down, right, left. Okay, we got the joystick working now. So just a little compressed air got everything going, which makes that an easy fix. Let's get us a power pellet here. Well, we don't. Down isn't so great. So maybe we'll put a little contact cleaner in there. So when it says head to head, it, it literally means head to head, both players at the same time. But that's good to know. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and try to get some contact cleaner on, let's see, it was the down that wasn't working. And then we'll come back, put it back together, clean it up a little bit. And I think, I think we got it. Okay, we got the contacts cleaned. I went ahead and put the three screws back on this board. This one can go back on top. I'm trying to keep this, or I'm trying to keep this video under 20 minutes, hopefully. Um, so now we can go ahead and put these bigger screws in here on the sides. Let's see here. These. I don't know if my screw here was broken, but uh, it's been attached the entire time. It did not come out. So hopefully this gets it. Um, I do have another one of these that a friend has given me. It's a Donkey Kong. It does not work at all. It didn't work. And so th that one will be a little bit more of a... Uh, Kind of a surprise repair when we open it up don't know uh don't know if it's going to need some board work or if it's just got some wires loose so that one will be a little bit more fun than this one um i knew this one did work 10 years ago and since it's mine i knew it didn't have any batteries in it and it was most likely going to start and if it didn't it was probably just from being banged around and one one of the power wires came off but Everything seemed to be good. That switch was a little dirty. As soon as I pulled that dust cover off, I probably dropped a bunch of crud inside of it. Okay, and we're gonna put these two here in. Make sure I got those. No, actually, I only had one of these, that's right. On this left side here. Oh. Oh. There's something else fell out. Oh, that was this one over here. All right, well, I'm going to do this off camera since it's taking so long. Like I said, I don't want a 20 minute video. Be right back. Okay, so moment of truth here. We got the batteries back in. Let's see if it will let us go. Okay, it did start. Barely see the lines. And let's see if we have, I guess we need to try this side and we need to see if and right works left works up right into a ghost I'm gonna use this guy now no nope, right into a ghost it's gonna take me some practice on this thing that okay we got down we have all four controls on player two now um, Come ghosties. Oh, I missed ya. Alright. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Some that time it was a wall in front of me that I couldn't see. Kinda hard to play at an angle over here. Okay, up works. Right works. Down works. I don't know that it works really well. You might need to get back in here. Oh, it's because I keep hitting walls I can't see. It looks like we got it all fixed. Just needs a little cleanup. Uh, I was going to use a magic eraser on it, but I'm really afraid to take any of the paint off. So I'm just really lightly going to 
just wash it off with a, a soft paper towel or a, maybe a, a, a regular microfiber rag or something like that. But we'll call that one fixed and here shortly I will find out, need to go pick up the uh, Donkey Kong for my buddy. And I don't think it has much art on it. Um, it's definitely not in as good shape as, the, as this one. Oh, and uh, just to remind you, when you put it back together, you got these two screws back here. Let's see. There you go. One on either side here. So don't forget those, and that, that makes it kind of a bear to get in and off. But thanks for watching, and we'll tackle the Donkey Kong next. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. So what am I going to get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.